Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Well, Mother Nature's been delivering a stretch of dry weather. You have to go back over a week since we received about a tenth of an inch of rain and even farther back into the early part of May to when we received over uh, two tenths of an inch of rain. So, of course, given how dry it has been and more dry weather expected, and when you factor in the wind, we've got that fire danger concern through this evening, and we'll do it all over again tomorrow. But looking at the month for the Hartford area to date, we're at a deficit now surpassing one inch uh, when it comes to precip for the uh, meteorological spring period, uh, we still have a bit of a surplus and same for the year to date. So temps today reaching uh, the upper 70s and low 80s. We're 65 to 70 now along the 95 corridor, still mid and upper 70s across a good part of inland Connecticut. Bradley Airport still right at the 80 degree mark. Uh, Complements of this southwesterly breeze up at around uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour, occasionally some gusts up to around 30. So from our ICANN view in New Haven, you can see Old Glory moving around in the wind, southwest sustained at 1870 in the Elm City and looking live from New London. We've got some cloudiness there, 67 and more of the same from atop Hartford 21 looking toward the southeast over the top of the Travelers Tower. You can see uh, the Connecticut River 79 right now there. So if you're heading into our capital city for the Yard Goats home game as they take on the Portland Sea Dogs, mild to start, mild to end, but about a 10 degree drop from first pitch uh, toward the uh, toward the ninth inning. And the clouds that we have now are in advance of a cold front that will be sinking southward tonight. Right now up near the Canadian border and by the time that front gets here it will pass through dry. You can see on Futurecast just the gray representing cloud cover. If we were to see anything, it would be a sprinkle, but even the likelihood for that is very low given how dry our air currently is. And by tomorrow morning, uh, by seven o'clock, the clouds from that front even gone. We're gonna see plenty of sunshine through the course of our Wednesday. So we'll see temperatures as we head toward uh, six, seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow, drop into the 45 to 50 degree range in the low 50s along the shoreline with clearing again, taking place as we head toward daybreak. And then tomorrow, these are forecast highs, dramatically cooler than today, only between 60 and 65, more than five degrees below average uh, for this time of year. So the wind tomorrow up out of the northwest, but as high pressure builds in tomorrow night into early Thursday, the wind subsides as high pressure moves right overhead. So we've got the dry air, a diminishing wind and the clear sky that will allow temperatures to drop into the 30s statewide, even some upper 20s from Northwest and Northeast Connecticut. So uh, this is time, of course, to uh, giving you the early warning to prepare to perhaps cover any sensitive plants that may be outside, especially across interior portions of the state. So an early warning seven day forecast, this a shot of cooler air, unseasonably chilly air is going to be short lived back to near 70 under plenty of sun on Thursday. 70 to 75 on Friday. Now for the upcoming weekend, we see increasing chances for rain and our models coming into better agreement. It looks like uh, the rain chances go up Saturday afternoon to Saturday evening. Very similar looks here on the GFS and European models. And then by Sunday, increasing sunshine. So with the clouds and the showers on Saturday, highs in the 60s, then with that sunshine on Sunday, back in the mid 70s. Okay.